Clash Royale on the level one account. My name is Cam Hump and thank you for joining me. We are gonna bust straight into it. Open it up these chests. We did get some zap spells, that is awesome. So if you don't remember from last time, we just reached Pekka's Playhouse and these chests are from that arena, including this giant chest. Here we go. A Mega Minion unlocked, I skipped right past it. My bad, we will get to check out all these new cards in our deck reservoir. I don't know why I called that that, but I did plan this perfectly. We are getting this free chest, and we are also getting a magical chest. Oh, it's an Arena 4 magical chest. Oh, this is Arena 4. Okay, sweet. That's perfect. <laughs> Let's open this bad boy up. 640 gold, 4 arrows, 4 spear goblins, 5 archers, Inferno Tower, 15 bombers. Seven hog riders, no legendary, but we did get some baby dragons, and I am okay with that. But our next chest is a legendary one. Oh my gosh. Our first legendary. If we do not get it before then, that will be our first. I am saving the gens, uh, the gens, the gems for a legendary chest in the shop. We do not have 500 yet, so that's disappointing, but that's why I'm not buying the emotes. Not that I don't know if I would, anyways. Um, just kidding i probably would way down the line but we are not anywhere near that and so these are the new cards we did unlock a lightning spell um that was either from a crown chest or um maybe a free chest actually while we were away also we have the mega minion at the top lightning mega minion um the inferno tower zap spell and that is it so let me swap off let's swap to this deck and let's just toss all the new cards in Let's admire what they look like, what level they are, level whatever default level is. And yeah, so these top cards are the new cards. We have a spell, a troop, a, a defense, and a uh, weak spell. And we're gonna try them out. Um, the zap spell is probably not gonna be good at all because it's only level one and it's gonna stay level one. But we can try to build a deck around this. So I think definitely getting the witch up in here and then hmm we do have the mega minion i think if we go hog rider i'm thinking i don't want to go too heavy i would use giant with the mega minion because it is a slow um it is a slow moving tr you know what? let's just use it let's go heavy and then we probably need a bit more what do we need? <laughs> okay, we have, we have prunes. This is a heavy deck. 4.1 is very expensive. I don't know if we need the prince. Yeah, no. But what would we use instead? Probably the baby dragon. Get some more splash up in there. It only brings it down to 4.0, but you know what? This might be worth a try. All right, so this is the deck. I've rearranged it here, and you know what? Well, let's just try it. Ooh, but did we try it in 1v1 or 2v2? We are trying new cards. Let's just, let's just do 1v1. <laughs> let's see what happens. 10 seconds, holy nuggets. Okay, it definitely wasn't 10 seconds. Good luck, Musketeer. Okay, so this is a heavy deck, so what basically what that means is we have to play very slowly, and we have to play very methodically. So he's going to go over there, so we're going to play here. He puts the witch in front of the prince, which, not really sure why he's doing that, but we'll take it. Take her out first, and then the prince is all that's left. The zap spell is going to be good for stuff like that. Um, the skeletons are only level 6, and holy nuggets, he almost took our tower because it's so low. We're going to get the giant down in front as well. Oh, it's the mega minion, and he's going to have the hunter there to blast through our giant, but hopefully we can take him down, please! Holy! Okay, giant does make a one swing onto the tower. A nice fireball there from him, actually. Um, we might be able to make this an even game. I'd say pretty much so. So as you can see there, the Mega Minion is a really slow, flying, bulky air unit. It's like a baby dragon, but with less health and doesn't do splash damage. So the Inferno Tower here is a defense, and what it does is it charges up as it locks on. 
So for stuff like giants, pekkas, golems, stuff like that, it's going to heat up and do a lot of damage over time, which is what you want. But to, for stuff like this, just like spam, it's hard to keep up with. So we do have the baby dragon and one barbarian. He's going to go with the witch. And you know what? I think we lightning that. The witch is five elixir. The, the lightning is, is six. But we do get some tower damage from it, as well as our baby dragon is able to lock on. So here's what we want. He used his uh, hunter, I think his name is. So we are going to... Oh. As soon as I placed it, I was like, oh my gosh, please don't get one shot. And then it did. That's so sad. Okay, so he took our tower, which sucks. He does still have the prince, and he's going to use it there. So we are going to be able to witch on defense. Please spawn some skeletons. Thank you so much. He is going to fireball. He does miss the witch, and I think he even missed the tower there. And we're going to have to bulk up on this right side because our witch is already here. And if we can save up for this lightning spell and catch his hunter in it, that would be, oh my goodness, please Zappa, please. In the way the lightning works, it is going to uh, splash. It is going to zap the three targets that have the highest amount of health. So the tower, the witch, and the hunter. That's why the, the skeletons did not get zapped there. He's gonna fireball and absolutely hit nothing. This is our one and only shot to be able to get in here and get to his tower. We need to get this giant down. He does not have the hunter in cycle. Actually, I think right now he does, and he does. And if we can get this lightning down, I think we take the tower. Please, we need to save. Save everyone, please, that please. No, our giant is too weak. I don't think there's enough time to take that tower. We should have gone for the left side, but we didn't get an opportunity to because we had to keep defending the right side and we're not going to waste those troops and blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, our giant's just way too weak. Um, could not even make it to the tower. Died like halfway to it. So I think we have to, we have to really think about which card ver uh, levels we're using. So right now, the only common card we have in this deck is the Zap, which really, when are we going to be using the Zap? We're going to be using it to reset Inferno Towers because it's uh, lightning, so it will reset the charge beam on here. Also, we'll be using it for Skeleton Army, which it does kill at level 6. If it doesn't kill at level 7, we trash it. There's no no way we're using it. Um, but yeah, so I, I think we need to reevaluate the Mega Minion was not great and the Giant died too quickly. So I think we either replace the giant with the giant skeleton or the hog rider who's a little bit quicker might be able to get in and get a shot off. I'm going to go giant skeleton because it does have defense uh, aspects as well. And let's try the mega minion again. Let's keep trying these new cards. I think this will be better. Uh, giant skeleton. Honestly, we could probably look at stats, but he might even have more health than the giant. And also his uh, his death bomb does a lot of damage, and that's really nice. For defensive pushes, we can deny a lot of ground with that sucker. He is one elixir more, but it's worth. All right, bub. Mr. David, you're only level three. It's impressive. What are you doing? So I'm going to start something slow in the back. Mega Minion, not a huge commitment, so if he does push left side, we are able to respond he is not gonna push left side he's not gonna do anything he's gonna give us a free mecha minion and i will take it and this is exactly when we want the zap spell the baby dragon is splash but to when the when the troops surround like that it's just easier to zap and unfortunately the witch did not walk into that because she was still targeting our air units mega minion get a slap Yay! almost had another one and here he goes with the barbarians they're only level two our witch should be able to do work, um, but to help out, we will also get the Barbarian Barrel down. That witch is our priority, which we will be able to take out. And now we have a witch on the counter push. Don't have anything... Because this deck is so heavy, we don't have anything to retaliate with um, with her. He's going to fireball, so not bad. Also, he plays his witch, and we can kind of wait. We can wait for her to come to our side to attack. If he puts anything in front, we go um, Giant Skeleton. Okay, interesting. We're going to have the giant skeleton here. And the witch should die with the baby dragon over there. Can Okay, phew. I almost thought that uh, that, that ram was getting to the tower. But it doesn't look like it. Unfortunately, the witch is going to get over here. And those skeletons should have been zapped. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, but now we don't have it over here, but we do have the bar barrel get down quick. Okay, so that bomb is gonna go off, hitting absolutely nothing but the Barbarian and the Baby Dragon to get some swings onto that tower. Nothing close to the damage that we took on the right-hand side and have not had an opportunity for either, okay, interesting. Haven't had an opportunity for the Inferno Tower. Haven't seen any big cards from him, you know, Prince or Giant Skeleton, Giant. Haven't seen any of that. So we are gonna go in here. Might have might have probably used the lightning spell on the witch earlier but we are gonna hit all of that also the bomb probably would have killed all that stuff so i didn't need to zap he is gonna fireball which kind of gives our witch a little bit uh, okay well the barbarian could get down in time we really just need to he's gonna fireball us out i think two fireballs and he wins so let's go here let's go here um, the Mega Minion might be in range of a fireball, but if he fireballs, he's going to be down so much elixir. And I think he realizes that, so he's not going to do it. We do have the Zap for the Skeleton Army, which is right there. The Witch probably would have been able to help clean that up, but he's going to fireball the tower. This is our chance. This is our one shot to get to his tower. He's just playing troops at the bridge, trying to stall us, which is actually giving us more time to build up a bigger counter push. The giant skeleton does go down, but with the Barbarian, the Witch, all the skeletons, and the two air units, we are going to be able to take that tower down. Well played. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So he didn't really have a defined win condition other than the Battle Ram which was level three. So I don't really know how that was working for him. Um, he did have the Prince, which can be a pretty good win condition. So this deck works, obviously it worked once. <laughs> I wouldn't say that it works. I do think you either go with the lightning spell or the inferno tower. Having them both is just really heavy. And if you use the lightning spell on offense to take out one or two troops, as well as hitting the tower, then there's less of a counter a, for them to counter push with to your side. So I don't feel like we need the Inferno Tower. Um, it is a really good card for, you know, like I said, things like giants and golems and all that madness. Um, I just don't think that we need it. Also, the zap is meh. Let's, uh, let's check health real quick. 2100 versus the giants 1800. Yeah, so the giant skeleton actually has a lot more health. These will do 75 damage versus arrows doing 115. I feel like arrows are a better option because they will do more, more damage to things. But where our arrows are only level one as well, it's kind of a toss up. But anyways, those are the new cards that we have unlocked in this arena. Um, we did make a deck out of it. We lost one. We won one. And that are, well, we did go up in trophies, but... Those are the rules of the game. What we have not unlocked, obviously, the P.E.K.K.A., an epic card, the Miner, a legendary card, the Lava Hound, a legendary card. Fun fact, that is the first legendary I got on my main account, and we have not unlocked the Minion Horde. So, I don't know if we will. Definitely not this episode. <laughs> We only got one chest and we're nowhere near finishing our crown chest. So thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next time. We will finish up this crown chest. We will get all of our chest slots filled. And I hope that this video helped explain the, the four new cards that we got. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, God bless. Stay hydrated.